Hey guys, what's up? It's Daniel with TrailerMountain.com and today I'm on beautiful Figueroa Mountain doing an outdoor review on the Cedar Summit Specialist Solo Ultralight Shelter. Um, I don't want to be confused with calling this thing a tent. It is not a tent. It is a shelter. Cedar Summit also makes a Specialist Duo, which is obviously a two-person, and um, you know that one will have two vestibules and two doors. Now there are advantages of using the shelter over using a bivy and the advantages are, for one, you know, this thing weighs about the same amount as a bivy, about the same size, okay? But you actually have a fully enclosed shelter you can sit up in the inside of it. It also gives you a full vestibule to put your boots in and some other damn clothes at night so they can dry out. This thing weighs in at 625 grams, or about 22 ounces, so really lightweight, um, not very big, takes up hardly any room in your pack at all. It also comes with included mosquito nets, and, um, and the vestibule is already installed, so you don't have to do anything special there. Um, you don't have to put a rain fly over the top of it. Everything's already built in, so that's another cool feature. It does come with stakes. Um, it also comes with uh, two aluminum poles that are, I believe, 70-75 aluminum. Uh, really strong, but extremely lightweight aluminum. Um, you can also use uh, hiking poles, so if you, you gram counters and weight winnies out there want to cut a few grams here and there, you can just use your poles, your hiking poles, instead of using the poles that come with it. Um, that has good and bad. For me, I like using my poles um, if I go on a day hike away from my tent. So if that's the case, you can't. Um, but for those of you who don't really care, then yeah, use your hiking poles, save some weight. The canopy is made of a Pertex Quantum fabric. Uh, it's a 20D uh, fabric, really lightweight, very tough, uh, waterproof. The sidewalls are Ultra Sil Nano um, fabric. Uh, and that's for the walls and the floor, okay? YKK zippers, which are the best around um, throughout the whole shelter. All the seams are fully seam sealed and taped, um, and all the guy lines have reflective coating on them, so if you need to set this thing up at night, no problem, easy. Now, Cedar Summit did uh, note on their website that this shelter is pretty easy to set up. Um, for me, the first time setting it up was just right now, and um, you know, I found it a little difficult, especially because it's kind of windy. Um, for one person to set this up would be a little difficult. Now, imagine if I had set this thing up, you know, 20 times before, it'd be, it'd be pie. It'd be really easy. But for now, just my first time, I found it a little difficult. Okay, so now I'm just going to do a little 360 degree view around. So here's the Specialist Solo. Now, I forgot to bring my other tent pegs, or pegs. So it does have a ground cloth that I'm using. Um, it is a little crooked, sorry about that. But I am using rocks to hold down the guy lines, as you can see in the video. Be a whole lot better if I had some tent pegs, or pegs in general, any kind of pegs. But you see how it tapers down at the footbed? Really cool there, I like that design. Okay, so I'm just gonna put this back on the tripod and I'm gonna open it up. All right, so this guy opens up, just like you'd imagine. And you have your little stretchy doohickey thing right here that holds it open. The poles go inside. So, a lot of room in here. It is a soloist shelter, so it's not meant for two people. Um, nice little vestibule. You can put your boots in here. You know, when this sucker's closed, you have this whole area down here to put your stuff in. You're in the tent. Plenty of room. Plenty of room to put my arms out. I have about a good if I stood up extremely straight, I have about six inches of headroom. I'm six foot tall, so plenty of room here. Yep. It is pretty snug. I will say that. All right, it does come with six aluminum. And these are the little stakes right here. These guys. Even monogrammed. See to summit. Good stuff. These things are very, very lightweight and really strong. Um, kind of have to 
put them in at an angle like you do with most pegs, but um, yeah, pretty nice. They don't really weigh that much. Okay, so here are the two um, soloist uh, shelter poles. They're really, really thin, lightweight aluminum. And as you can tell, they're two different lengths. Okay. The, uh, the longer one is going to go further away from the door, shorter one closer. So, once again, you could also use your trekking poles. Just want to make sure you set your poles up the right way or else it's not going to work. Shelter weighs 445 grams by itself, 15.6 ounces. Poles are 113 grams, 3.9 ounces, and the pegs are 67 grams, 2.3 ounces. All totaled, you know, this guy's a little... It's not too big, you know, this thing will compress smaller, so, you know, don't let it size fool you, it's that big. That's your total shelter, okay? So, kudos to Sea to Summit for sending this to me, I really, really appreciate that. Thank you so much to the guys uh, and gals at Sea to Summit, you guys make excellent products, and um, keep checking back for more gear reviews on trailandmountain.com, and please, please, please subscribe, um, and uh, that means a lot to me when people subscribe, so... You guys have been doing great so far. Please leave your questions, comments below, and I'll do my best to answer them. Have a great day, guys. Get outdoors.